Hi, I'm Dr. April French and I'm the Senior Academic Coordinator for the General Chemistry Labs at the University of Kentucky. I've been in this position for five years now and prior to this position I've taught classes of over 100 students at a smaller regional institution. Coordinating the General Chemistry Labs involves training 30 or more teaching assistants each semester to teach some 50 plus sections of both first and second semester General Chemistry Labs with well over 1,500 students a semester. With this many people, we face a number of logistical challenges related to TA training and grading, including ensuring that all TAs are grading in a consistent and fair way. One of the things that I've done to help address the issue of consistency and fairness is to leverage technology both inside and outside the classroom. I've moved a number of assignments to online homework systems, such as Sapling Learning or the more specialized Chem 21 Labs. Online homework systems provide the opportunity for real-time feedback on student inner responses so that students know if they got a question, a question correct or incorrect immediately instead of having to wait over a week for TAs to grade and return their work. This is particularly, particularly useful in my case for pre-lab assignments where I'd like for students to demonstrate an understanding of concepts before coming to lab. I also use an online homework system for checking students' calculations after lab as part of their data analysis. This way, TAs do not have to go through every lab report and check every student's calculations by hand. And again, students are getting real-time feedback. This approach works great with conceptual and numeric questions, but for the lab reports that students submit each week, I have to work with the TAs more to ensure that they are grading fairly and consistently across not only the students in one of their two or three sections, but also across all the different TAs. To reduce the chances of the students arguing that the TA lost my lab report, I have all the students submit their lab reports to Canvas. Canvas provides a time date stamp so we clearly know when the students submitted the work. This also gives us the opportunity to run the reports through a plagiarism scanner. Canvas also allows me to limit the file types to Word or PDF documents which are highly compatible with Canvas's built-in grading system, SpeedGrader. Good instructions are also important as many students have not had to submit reports before and often do not realize all the steps involved in getting the report submitted. I try to make as clear as possible what to expect from the submission process and notify students of Canvas and Turnitin's policy towards resubmission of work. I also have a practice submission assignment available to students to test out the submission process before it becomes higher stakes with their actual lab report. For each lab report assignment, I've built in grading rubrics for the TAs to use to evaluate the students' work. We spend time in each of our weekly TA meetings going over lab reports as a group to ensure that all TAs are evaluating students' work consistently. Variation in scoring of individual items is discussed, and TAs are asked to provide reasoning for why they gave a report a particular score on a rubric item. I also ask TAs to provide a feedback statement that they would leave for their students. I think this is particularly helpful for new TAs and our international TAs who aren't quite sure what would be appropriate for feedback or simply that they need to provide feedback uh, with more information than simply marking the grading rubric. When submission problems arise, I am able to get help from both on-campus resources as well as from the software companies directly. Don't be afraid to reach out for this help. While on occasion I've had to remind uh, the software companies that 1% of 2,000 students is a large number of students, they do generally work very rapidly to resolve issues. I found that the relationship I've built through the software companies and through helping fix these software glitches has made me a, perverse, a person that developers reach out to to test new products to see how they would work with larger groups of students. And this has left me and my students with better products to use.